All right, everyone, we are here with a very special guest. We are joined by Tyler Norris from The Bachelorette and most recently, Bachelor in Paradise. It's good to be here, How guys. did you feel about that? That was good. <laughs> That felt good. Yeah, that, that felt good. That, yeah, that, that was, was very professional. That was very professional. very professional. Yeah, I got to give you that. Um, Tyler, you have been extremely requested to come on the show. The I season can't that. ended. Um, the the reunion, all the drama. And people were like, "We we need to hear more from Tyler." Like, we were getting tons of DMs of people like, "You got to have Tyler on the podcast. We need more, more, more." So that's what we're here to do. <laughs> well, as you guys saw, I tried to get a chance to talk, and I. Got shut down real quickly during the reunion. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's good. So to be if here. you want to say whatever you were going to say on the reunion here, <laughs> go go right ahead. See, that was the thing. Like on the reunion, because I've had so many people reach out to me and say, "All right, what's the tea? Right. What do you yeah. know?" And what I'm did just you like, want to well, say? Well, like I, I hear the rumors. Everybody else heard this and that. Um, just the biggest thing for me, why I like jumped in, and it was only like one point. I just turned. And I was just like Victoria, just because. Like, we're all one big family, mm -hmm. no matter what. At the end of the day, you leave in a relationship. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But we're on a national television show, yeah. all right? Going on there and attacking somebody's character, like she did with Johnny, and, like, knowing the truth. I know that Johnny didn't say those things. Um, you know, going through my relationship and him going through his, we would, like, check in with each other all the time. And I was just so upset because I never had a problem with Victoria whatsoever. Yeah. Like, at, at the end of the day, even, like, Still now, all I did was lose respect because of what she did. You know, just coming at him saying, you called me this, you said this. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, that's not true. And also, like, we're on a television, like, we're yeah. on a show where predominantly it's women watching the show. The yeah. things that you are saying, you better have, like, backed up, like, facts. But do you feel like there's maybe a chance that you may not know if he actually said those things or not because because I feel this way for yeah. both of them right. like I think mm -hmm. that Devil's advocate. I think that Johnny was wrong, I think Victoria was wrong in different aspects of their relationship. I think that they both could have done things differently. But do you feel like maybe like your friend isn't going to be straight up and be like, "Yeah, bro, I called her this." No, you know yeah. like he could he could yeah. be telling you, "No, I didn't say that," but like he did. You exactly. know, I feel like you don't know for sure. And I think yeah. that's maybe where the frustra frustration mm -hmm. came from. But I also understand the point of wanting to defend your friend. So I kind of see like both yeah. sides of no, that. No, exactly. I mean, all of it in any relationship, when it ends, there's going to be two sides every story. Yeah. yeah. And everyone's going to say, I said this or you said that. And it's just going to go back and forth. And nobody's going to really know unless mm -hmm. obviously you have receipts or something like that. Right. Um, but I just knew, like, I know who Johnny is. Like, I got to know him like very well, even like post show like getting to know him and um and yeah i just thought to myself even like going in there like i thought i was just like all right if victoria comes out here because there's everything going on around her and greg and honestly like you're with greg you're done you're not in a relationship with johnny just be happy that's perfectly fine but coming on i was hoping that she would come on and just be like it didn't work out like right. i'm with greg now like leave it like that right mm-hmm like, Instead I'm sorry of, it didn't work out. Yes. I'm happy yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Just, like, not to air out the dirty laundry Exactly. Don't do that. Yeah, Especially yeah. On, a, on a television show. Because yeah. Johnny didn't do that. There's lots of conversations that I know that he had with her. And, you know, there's lots of things said from her side, too. But mm -hmm. he made sure to say, stay respectful the entire time. And he had talked to her prior and said, I'm not going to do this. Right. I'm not going to air going out. There. I'm not going to air out personal stuff between us because that wouldn't be right to you. But she did. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And it's just like, and attacked him. And that was the part that I was just so disappointed and upset about. Yeah. And it's hard too, because I think like there's some things that you should keep private. I feel like even when, I don't know, I think she has maybe feels a responsibility to explain to people like why she's with Greg mm -hmm. and therefore like airing out the dirty laundry so that it backs up like well I made the right decision and now I'm it's better with Greg but like I know when they went on Nick's podcast and um I know she was talking about like things their therapist had said to them and th and I was like that's that's where it kind of crosses a line for me I'm like I don't think you need to be like sharing your Therapy, therapy sessions, sessions with yeah. the exactly. world. Mm -hmm. um, but I do understand why she was trying to, I guess. Like she's in like defense mode. Yeah, where she's in defense it could have, mode. It could, because I think everyone can agree on if she's happy with Greg, be happy. Yeah, be, be happy, happy. With, yeah. be happy yeah. with Greg. Like, that's well, I guess fine. it was the cheating thing. It's like, more she just felt like yeah. she was being called out and for the, cheating. The big thing with that is like when she she literally said to everybody, she said, 
I don't care whether you like us or not. Okay. I really don't give a shit is what she said. Obviously, she cares. Right, right, You know what I mean? People are coming at you, and that's the way Bachelor Nation is. It's terrible. People say the worst things possible. I mean, I've gotten stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm just like, wow, this is pretty pretty tough. Anybody going through this? But if you're going to sit there and say, you know what? I really don't give a shit what anybody says at the end of the day, then own up to that. Right. Be like Mm -hmm. that, you know? And I just feel like, like you said, she's doing everything she can to defend herself at the end of the day. But if she had gone to, you know, that reunion and just said, listen, things weren't working out we were toxic relationship just wasn't there mm. i'm with greg now and i'm happy leave it like that yeah, yeah you know yeah. what i mean yeah you like i did a realistic spin on he it he did Guys, things it was, wrong we filmed for three weeks i also weeks. did things <laughs> yeah. wrong like we didn't i think we all found out too many details way too i yeah. think i think that's once, where because once you once, find out once the can of worms is opened you then just, you invite all just everybody out. in exactly. or if you kind of keep it closed no details just didn't work out people can speculate all they want just let them speculate and just yeah, like move on with your life because people are going to do that about literally anybody in the spotlight they'll mm-hmm. speculate and that's yeah. really yeah. it but how are you doing what's going on in your life your huh. relationship status i think yeah. that everybody's wondering what's going on right there. i think people wanted to see more of a conversation perhaps too i know like you filmed so long at the reunion and mm-hmm. so much of it gets cut and there were so many things that people thought, oh God, I really wish like we saw more of that. And I think one of those things was more of what happened with you and Britt. No, oh, yeah, of course. So how did that kind of come to an end, I guess? So what had happened was, and you know, we talked about it at the reunion, like everything. Yeah. And um, so basically we left the show together, super happy. I got back to Jersey, she got back to Chicago, and she had reached out to me about um, 4th of July, what I was doing for 4th of July. And I told her, well, I'm gonna be in Jersey, and she said she was thinking about going to New York, and I said, well, why don't you come to Jersey, like, spend it with yeah. me? And this is like a day, two days prior. Is so that she- something you're allowed to do? Allowed to do? Yeah. Well, you can't be, <laughs> <laughs> you really can't be seen out in yeah, 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 together. Yeah, yeah, But like a so, private backyard exactly. yeah. situation. Something yeah, yeah. like that, we're perfectly fine. And I'm from a small town, yeah. like, mm-hmm. nobody really cares that much yeah yeah so uh she ended up booking a flight came to jersey met my family um we had the most amazing time yeah like, everything was awesome went and saw the fireworks she got along the with jersey everybody shore at the jersey shore I love exactly. yeah. I the jersey shore yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah everything was amazing um she kept telling my family the entire time how much she loved me how mm-hmm. she fell in love with me stuff like this and i'm sitting there i'm like okay this is like obviously he's moving quick you yeah. know it's you call it like uh, beach fever, I guess is what yeah, you can yeah, call yeah. it, where you really fall for somebody just because you're in this little bubble. And then after that, I told her, I was just like, I'll come to Chicago. So as soon as she left, a week went by, I went to Chicago, met her family, got to hang out with her. We actually went to a Chicago Cubs game, just stayed low nice. key, but my show wasn't even on yet. So nobody yeah, knew yeah, yeah. who I was, you know? So um, got a chance to like hang out in Chicago. That's crazy to yet. think that about. Crazy. It was I, that nuts. is also so, what is also so hard for me to like wrap my mind around with Victoria and, and Johnny too, because I was like, she didn't see the the show was airing like your season of the bachelorette was yeah. airing as you guys were all like in these couples already, mm-hmm. which is crazy. Like thinking about watching the guy you just got engaged to on TV being like, I don't really think I'm ready to get engaged. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I had like, I had to film the men's tell all while I'm literally in a relationship with Brittany. Yeah. So that's, cr- it's yeah, a, that yeah, is crazy. It's a lot. That is it's crazy. a lot for sure. Cause you had to put your head in the right, like a different right space. Yeah. Right. Like take yourself back to that. So back you're to in Rachel July. And- this season hasn't even, you're in Chicago, but exactly. nobody even knows. Nobody, nobody knows idea. who you are. Yeah. Nobody knows who I am. <laughs> I remember it's funny. Johnny was telling me one time too, he went out in Nashville and he was with um, Victoria and people thought he was just her bodyguard yeah. or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, went to Chicago. Everything was awesome. Met her family. Family really liked me. Um, I mean, her one nephew was calling me Uncle Tyler like yeah. afterwards. Aww. And like I met her dad and everything. Sad. And <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's I'm fine. Sad he lost Uncle Tyler. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> met all her friends and everything. And she kept telling everybody, every single person that we met, he's going to be around for a while. He's yeah. going to be around. So yeah. obviously I'm feeling great. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I'm going to match your energy. You're giving me everything. I'm going to give that back to you. Um, as soon as I had left, I got back home. As soon as I flew in that day, um, she said, hey, I need some space. And I was just like, mm. what do you mean you need some space? And she wanted, wasn't like answering my phone call or my text. Right. So I was just like, I'm super confused right now because I was just with everybody. We had an amazing time. I was just like, 
you're switching right. a flip mm-hmm. on me. You and know? she said she felt like you weren't like respecting. Wasn't her wasn't respecting space, that, and it was space. more just me being confused at the mm-hmm. time because I was just like, "What's going on?" And like my biggest thing with her, I remember when we had left together in a relationship, and we were in the hotel room together. I asked her, I was just like, "What's something you're scared of?" Like in a relationship, you're scared of with me. And her biggest thing was she's like, "My last relationship, I got cheated on, and he treated me terribly." I was like, well, you, that's completely out of my character. You don't have to worry about that. I said, you're the only girl for me. I said, as long as you're with me, I'm with you. That's it. Mm-hmm. And then she asked me what I'm scared of. And like from The Bachelorette, like I told us about my past relationship where I had a girl that, you know, wanted to get engaged to me, wanted to move in with me, this and that, telling me all these things. And obviously I was just like, I've never experienced that before. I've never had somebody that wanted that. So I was 100% in, 100% in. And then one day things got to her I guess um, mentally and just Mm. like a lot going on that she just ended the relationship so I told Brittany I was just like I can't have somebody telling me everything I want to hear and then just just ending it out of nowhere I was like, that's the like the biggest thing. She's like, I would never do that to you. Yeah. Well, lo and behold. Lo and behold. (laughs) um, She said she needed some space so like a couple days went by, didn't talk to her um, after she had told me you know, she needed some space. And then she had said to me, she's like, I'm thinking about, you know, I always wanted to move to London. And I'm just like, I came out of nowhere. And I was just like, well, when do you plan on moving to London? And she's like, well, as soon as my lease is up, like seven to eight months. So she I'm saw all the here. Instagram stories of everybody traveling Europe. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. But um, after that, like a couple of weeks had gone by, I had the re- uh, I had the men's tell all to do. So I'm out in California and I told her, I said, hey, I'm going to be in California for like two, three weeks. Um, would you come out here and like want to hang out? And she had said to me originally, she's like, well, right now, like it's a, it's a little tough. I don't think I can afford a flight there right now. Cause mm-hmm. I've got other things like going on. And I was just like, Hey, like if you want me to, I will buy you a flight out here. Like it's no problem. And mm-hmm. she's like, you would do that for me. I was like, of course. And then she said, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I'll see you in LA. Cause they were taking my phone away from me. So I take my phone. As soon as I get it back, she calls me up and she says, Hey, I can't make it to LA. I'm actually at my mom's birthday party that was supposed to be the next week after it got pushed up. And I was just like, okay, completely understand that. She's like, but she's just like, I just booked a flight to London. to London in a week and a half, like right after my mom's party. And I'm like, you're going to London? And she was just like, yeah, I'm going to go to London. And then from there, going to go to Italy. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm a little confused yeah, a right little bit now. More expensive. I was like, I'm going to be here for two like another two and a half weeks. So while you're in London, I'm literally going to be in LA. Yeah. And I was like, and you were supposed to come here. Like, I understand mm-hmm. your mom's trip getting, like her plans yeah, getting yeah, moved yeah. up. I was like, but you still have time to come see me. Yeah. And she was just like, and I was like, and also you told me that you couldn't afford a flight out here. She right. was like, well, I've got the points. I have points to like to go out to London. <laughs> the points. And I'm like, I'm sitting here and I'm like, this girl's definitely Sounds not. Sounds like you like, weren't worth the points. Exactly. Yeah. I, was <laughs> the not points, worth the points I think the points would be spent in any place in any place especially yeah. inside the u.s i think they co- the points there are more no outside doubt. of it <laughs> there's no doubt in my mind so i'm sitting there and i'm like and i said to her i was like brit i was like you got to see this from my side yeah I was like you keep telling me every single day that you're absolutely in love with me and you want to see me we haven't seen each other in weeks i'm going to be in la no offense but you should be coming to see me in la you shouldn't be yeah. it's almost like you're running away and she was just like, and she like broke down to me. She's like, you're right. Like I messed up. I'm so, so sorry. This and that. And I'm like, okay. I was just like, well, I'm definitely a little upset. So we're like talking here and there. It's no, nothing like, mm-hmm. like I'm just kind of keep my distance a little bit. Cause I kind of knew like what was happening. Um, and then she ended up, we started talking again. Everything was fine. Uh, she's going out to London, Italy. And then she says to me, she's like, why don't you, why don't you come see me in Italy? And I'm just looking at flights. I'm like, it's twenty five hundred dollars yeah. to come to Italy. And you I'm like, and also paradise scandals yeah, happening that's, in that's Italy. What I'm saying. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like thinking to myself, now thank you God I didn't pay points. to go out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, just because the biggest thing to me was like, if you're not willing to put in the time towards me, like I'm not right. gonna go pay twenty five hundred dollars to right. see somebody that doesn't even know if they really want me. Why should you go to Italy? Exactly. <laughs> Why should I go to Italy? Yeah. Um, so she's in London and. Uh, I talked to her two days prior and two days prior she said to me she's like listen this is what I'm going to do because I haven't seen you she's like I'm going to come to Jersey as soon as I'm done here I'll fly to Jersey and then you come to Chicago because obviously I want to see you I was like okay two days after she goes hey can we FaceTime sure no problem FaceTime her are you like a little excited to FaceTime I t- you or know what nervous. I hadn't really more nervous because okay. yeah. I hadn't really the communication with Brittany was so tough just mm-hmm. because 
I'm the type of person where if I'm just driving somewhere, I'm going to give you a call. I'm going to yeah, call yeah. you up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I like to talk. Mm-hmm. I like to converse with people. And, you know, she was very hard to get a hold of, like, throughout yep. the entire relationship. And, like, I, I, I get that. Like, you're a busy person. Right. Some and, people are bad with their phones. Yeah, some people are bad. Yeah. And she explained that to me. She's like, I'm not good at texting. Yeah. that. And I'm like, long distance. Probably should be good at that. Mm-hmm. But yeah. um, she's like, hey, can we FaceTime? I was like, yeah, sure. She gets on the phone. She goes, I keep going back and forth with this. She's like, I don't think we're in the right place. Like, we're two different people. We do two different things, this, that. And I'm just like, all right. I was just like, well, I, I at least want to see this through past, like, the reunion. Because, honestly, I was just like, we can't have a real relationship. Because we can't go out here. Can't yeah, do this. Yeah, can't yeah. do that. Like. Let's it's see so, what real life is let's like. Let's see what real yeah. life is because if we had such a special moment and you said you're so in love with me and I'm so in love with you, mm-hmm. we should at least see this pass for another month, month and a half and just figure out if this is really what we want. And she's just like, yeah, I just, I'm just not feeling it. And then just, that was it. And that was, like I said, on the reunion, that was the same day I get dumped by yeah, Rachel yeah. on national television. Yeah. So Double whammy. rough Monday for me. Yeah. yeah. Um, And I was just, you know, I was upset. But, you know, when she said to me, like, how, like right then and there, she was like, you're going to be all right? And I was just like, yeah, you know what? I was just like, I'll be fine. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. everything's good. I'm not going to sit there and cry about it or anything like that. You know what I mean? So kind of just went along. And it wasn't even a bad breakup. Yeah. And from that time to the reunion, we didn't talk at all. She never reached out to me. Nothing, like, no text. So was the reunion the first time you had talked to her since the FaceTime? Really the first. So there was one time in between where her mom had DM'd me on Instagram, and it was just a promo of um, of uh, Bachelor in Paradise. Yeah. So I sent her a message. She hadn't messaged me at all. I sent her a message. I was just, like, at the screenshot of it, and I said, I guess you didn't tell your mom we broke up. Yeah. And she turned around. She was like, no, I, the funny thing is I did. And I was just like, uh, I was just oh. like, that's just... I think it's her just, name was Jean. I said, that's just like, Jean that's, being Jean. Yeah, like, yeah. like joking around. And uh, like that was pretty much it. And then through that message, she said, how are you doing? Mm. And like to me, I was just like, I started this conversation. You know, you never came out and like checked up right, on right, me. Right. So I'm just like, I really don't feel like you care that much. Mm-hmm. And then from then on, there was one message that I got when I was on a date with Shanae. And she said, damn, three times because I kissed Shanae like three times. Mm. And that was it. There's nothing else. No checking up on me, no seeing like how I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And like my biggest thing was if you're so in love with somebody and like you have a breakup that's not even a bad breakup. Right. You're not gonna check in on them. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was, I was gonna just, say, like, it sounds like she was to, like, saying keep the friendship. She was saying she was in love with you, but she wasn't actually exactly. in love with you. And I'm I'm not meaning to come across harsh, but no, you're like fine. you said, yeah. If somebody's actually in love with you, like they want to talk to you, they want to be around you, they exactly. want to be with you, like they're in love with you. Mm-hmm. Like that's to me, like yeah. you need to be with that person. Exactly. Do you think a lot of that is the effect of like the paradise effect, like you said, there like the summer no fever, doubt. like where it's just you? I think so many couples work work themselves up or like get in their mind of like this is yes I'm totally in love because look at all these other people in love around me and Mm -hmm. we're gonna make this work and afterwards it's like wait a second there's no doubt well one thing I will tell you is this so I 100% agree that is real as real as can Mm -hmm. be Um, just because there's so much going on you're in this like little bubble nothing outside world you don't have to worry about anything it's just you and somebody you just met on vacation together and um when we had left the day that you know i told her that i loved her um my plan was i wasn't going to tell her that i loved her because i wanted to wait till afterwards to show that i'm not doing this for the screen yeah i'm not saying this because there's cameras i want you to know that this is real yeah so i went down there and we're sitting talking to each other and originally i had said i was like i want to leave here with you like I definitely see this past um, paradise. I will come to Chicago right away, like meet your mom, meet your friend, this, that. And then right afterwards, she had stopped me. She goes, well, I was really hoping that you were going to say that you were in love with me because I'm so in love with you. Yeah. And I had those feelings. And then right after she said that and I saw how upset she was, I was just like, I just want to let you know, like right here and there, this is when I fell in love with you. And she looked at me, she's like, well, why couldn't you say that? And I literally, in front of the cameras, I pointed at all of them and I said, because that's there, that's there. I said, I wanted to let you know this is real. This is like me being real and genuine. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't care about all this other shit going on, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. And that's why we didn't get a lot of screen time either. It's just because I was just invested in her. Like, I didn't right. care about anything else. And do you think that because, like you mentioned, she kept saying, I'm in love with you, but like you couldn't, she didn't come to LA and 
hard to get a hold of like do you think that maybe she felt the pressure of having to stay together because wanting to be like a success story and so in her head she kind of knew it was over but like she was just telling you like i'm in love with you because she's trying to figure out like how do i end this without people because like you said bachelor nation could be really tough and they sometimes can't understand when things just don't work out between two people and instead they're like why didn't it work out we love him and it's like to like really analyze it too much because you know we haven't sp- spoken to Brittany but to have your show not air and to then s- kind of see how it ended with Rachel mm-hmm. and people lo- like people really loved you and Rachel mm-hmm. and I think like people really loved you coming off the show too where I do think that once someone gets an idea of what the public thinks about oh somebody my gosh, for sure that I think it's we like, saw that with Eliza a yeah, little bit with Rodney yeah you yeah. you think like oh shit did I like am I making a mistake are people because, gonna hate me now because yeah, I like, or am I gonna be the girl that breaks his heart again you exactly. know <laughs> no there's no doubt yeah, yeah. there's no which doubt which I do think that. that like comes into play yeah and when we were leaving together so we're both leaving she goes okay, I asked right. you a question so yeah. sorry I don't want to cut you off but when you leave together you leave paradise and you don't like get engaged mm-hmm do they set you up with the same kind of like happy couple weekends and things like that? Pretty or much. Yeah, they do. Yeah, so we had a gap okay. in between where we both went to the hotel. Like we both okay. had our own rooms and then we could have the nights together if we wanted to sign off on a piece of paper, make sure that okay. we were both okay to like stay the night together. And ultimately that's what we did. But when we had first, we were leaving together right after where she was like happy that I said, I love you. We're leaving together. We got separated in the two separate interviews. Mm-hmm. And I'm so happy in mine. Here, I didn't know that she was not happy in hers. Mm-hmm. She comes back and like I'm looking at her. I'm like, it's almost like the situation where Rachel dumped me on the boardwalk. Like I'm looking at yeah, you. Yeah. I know something's I was off. Gonna ask yeah. I want to know what's off. So I'm looking at her. I'm like, is everything okay? She's like, yeah, I'll tell you about it in a little bit. I'm good. I was like, okay. So we're walking out together. Go to get into the car. She stops me from getting to the car. And of course, they didn't show this either. She stops me and she goes, I don't think you're ready. I was just like, what do you mean you don't think I'm ready? I was just like, I just told you I'm in love with you. Yeah. She's like, yeah, but I feel like I had to get that out of you. Like, I don't feel like you're really in love with me. Mm. And I turned around and I was just like, I was just like, Brit, I told you how I felt. I was like, I'm not leaving here without you. So if you want to come with me, you can come with me. Yeah. So then she ended up getting to the car yeah. with me and we're driving in the car. And, you know, I got my producer there with me too. The, who knew my entire plan to tell her as soon as we got back so she knew it was real i'm sitting there in the car and i'm looking at her and she's just like i feel like i should be happy right now but i'm not i'm like what do you mean i was just maybe like, it was her like saying to you like you're not ready but it was really her that's not ready exactly and that's and she's trying yeah. to get you to say 100%. it 100 right. she doesn't want to be the one Some the bad guy she doesn't want to be projection. the bad guy 100 percent. and that's how i felt afterwards and like even then she turned around she's like well She's just like, I've never told somebody I love them first. And I looked at her and I was just like, well, how'd that work out in your last relationships? And she's yeah. like, good point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, I was feeling Touché, it. I was yeah. like, just because you said it, I was just like, it doesn't matter who says it first. Right, right. It comes down to you if you actually feel that. Yeah. Right. Right. So looking back on it now, I'm like, was that her way of like being like, you know what? Like, I'm not really feeling this. I got to get out of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of like a way for her to do that. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Ultimately. How do you feel now? Like, have you guys talked since the reunion? I saw her put up a TikTok and I saw a bunch of the comments oh. were like, we see that's Tyler filming. And I'm like, I don't think it's Tyler filming. Definitely not <laughs> me Because all of the comments yeah. were like, come on, tell us it's him. And I was like, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I had talked to her that night because, you know, I wanted to check up and make sure like she was okay because I saw the hate that she was getting. Yeah. And like, no matter what you do at the end of the day, like, like the hate that anybody gets from yeah. it. I know how disgusting Nobody it deserves it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nobody deserves that. So I called her up and I just let her know. I was like, Brittany, I said, turn off your phone. Don't listen to it. I said, ultimately, at the end of the day, the only people that truly know who you are are your family and your friends. Yeah. That's it. All these other people saying stuff are either fans of mine or just people that don't know who you are. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. And I was just like, listen, I'm getting stuff too. You made yeah, me look yeah, like yeah. a stage five clinger with what you <laughs> said. I was just like... I was just like, at the end of the day, I was just like, you yeah. just got to deal with it. Yeah. It's going to be mm-hmm. over in a few weeks. And I was just like, listen, I don't have an issue with you. I don't have a problem with you. You know, we had something special. I was just like, but ultimately, you know, I told her, yeah. I was just like, the one thing that I told you I was scared of in a relationship, you did to me. So obvi- obviously, I'm yeah. I'm going to be yeah. upset about that. And I can be upset. And after that, it was the TikTok came out. And then for Instagram, like, 
she had talked to me and she talked to me about doing a post like together, like a yeah, a collab post. Basically, don't, after the reunion, don't, after don't reunion, do the collab yes, post. no, I was just like, <laughs> I talked to friends about it. I was just like, like, that's a relationship thing that you do. Like, ultimately, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want her to look bad. Right. You know, that's, that's the last a, thing I that's want. That's like the Clayton and Susie collab breakup. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, it's not, it's not that deep. Yeah. I was just like, but you got to understand, like, I'm genuinely like, I'm a little hurt. So right. like, I just kind of want to do my own thing. Mm-hmm. And then when the TikTok thing came out and I saw what she put up, I'm just like, all right, this is too much. Like, yeah. I get what, you know, you want to look good in front of the public, like this and that. I said, you don't deserve the hate because generally I think yeah. Britney's a good person. I yeah. do. But like I said, like this blows over in a few weeks. And then right. So, and like relationships end. People break people up. People like, don't, yeah, exactly. are not compatible anymore. Like yeah. doesn't mean that that right. person and that, deserves to be shit and on. And like, exactly. dictates like if you break up with somebody, that doesn't make you a bad person. No. Like, no but that person so, is always, yeah. if like you were loved after the shows and so all of a sudden she's painted as a as a bad person because she broke up with you but like at the end of the day if Brittany didn't want to be with you she can't be with you because that that's exactly. even worse to do to you yeah. to stay with somebody that you don't want to be yeah. with is even more hurtful i think 100% than breaking up with somebody and just yeah did you um did you hate that you the way you came on to the show, like Paradise, that you had to be a part of the. Uh, would you have rather like come to the beach normally <laughs> instead I would have of the came split to the week? Beach normally, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, I I got very lucky. Like, yeah, I came down there. There's some guys that didn't get yeah. to engage with anybody. Though. Right, right. They, they were just I mean? were. Was that an I literally asked to leave? Yeah, like, this basically. Was that an accurate depiction of like all the girls being uninterested in the guys? Yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah, because I the way it was edited the was vibe like, was the low. vibe was so, it low. Was so low. They were and we were talking about it. And we were like, you know, you could not be interested in a romantic way, but just make friends while you're there. Like just oh, exactly. have conversations, right. make friends, make the time go by because you're mm-hmm. really doing nothing the whole time. You might as well just talk to make some friendships or whatever it is and have fun, but it doesn't need to be romantic. And so I think as a viewer, we were getting frustrated. Like these girls are really just going to sit around and whine all day. They can't even talk to the guys as friends. Yeah. The first night was tough because when we first walked in, like you could see, like you could already see who was in a relationship and who wasn't mm-hmm. and who was actually genuinely like interested in getting to know people. Um, Shanae pulled me like first to have a conversation with her prior to her. I was talking with Serene and like, I had a really good conversation with her obviously found out about Brandon and I was just like, even after I found out with Brandon, like, I'm like, all right, like be friends. Like I'm talking with yeah, her like yeah, a friend yeah, afterwards. Yeah. yeah. And then I ended up talking with Brittany and then, um, talked with Brittany for hours, but I saw like the first person I was just like, I'm definitely not going to talk to her yeah. was Victoria. Cause Victoria <laughs> yeah. was so, you could tell like she just didn't want to be there. And I'm just like, all right, I'm not even going to have a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of intimidated. What um, about well. Shanae now? Like, do you think Shanae is going to come around and say uh, what's up? <laughs> Oh, what, Shanae with, with me? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Um, I think that she's got a thing with some guy is what I saw. I am I am not. I don't know. But no, I didn't no. I didn't see Shanae like that, I'll mm-hmm. be honest yeah. with you. Like, I went on a date, had a great time and everything, but ultimately afterwards I was just like, yeah. Do you think you're going to stay away from dating people in the Bachelor world or whatever happens, happens? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 yeah, avoid, like, I, I mean, I'm always, I just want something that's real mm-hmm. and, like, genuine. You yeah. know what I mean? If you're in a relationship with a motive, like, right now especially, like, let's be real like people date within industries because they know that it ultimately helps their brand for sure i don't want that yeah. i just want I, I could care less if you have uh 500 followers compared to whatever else like i just want someone who's sweet genuine mm-hmm. and right now i mean is it really hard to find yeah it's hard to find because you get these dms and you're you like you don't know i, I yeah, have yeah. no idea like who's in for what mm-hmm. yeah so my biggest thing is just like walking around walking around New York who knows after yeah. this yeah. maybe a friend introduces you to somebody exactly. like you, you really you, never you, know you really never know mm-hmm. so yeah. yeah I saw uh, you could be like I saw like I think it was Tyler Cameron on it was top on his like radio show was t- told a story about like chasing a girl down the street in <laughs> New York seems like Wait, a very, yeah. very Tyler thing to do yeah he did like he was like <laughs> out to dinner and like saw a beautiful girl walk down the street and was like I gotta I gotta meet her go and meet her. like follow so maybe that's something that you, yeah. <laughs> you never know something follow up of, from that I, I didn't you know I didn't hear the rest of the st- it was a, it was a good like tease of hey you gotta listen to the to the Jeez. full to the it was full a good show. tease but Imagine. you didn't go listen to the um, full show 
No. <laughs> Imagine being that girl having Tyler Cameron run you down the toilet. Right, exactly. That's what going. That's it's what that, his like yeah. co hosts were like, okay, I'm sure they followed her to like her house, like her apartment <laughs> yeah. building. Like um but yes, no. I, I do think that makes the most sense. And Rachel you know, Rachel did say that her favorite hometown was your hometown. <laughs> Mine? Didn't she? Wait yeah, a second. she did. Gabby no, wait, and Rachel so came on our show we after did the, the whole season. interview. <laughs> yes, we did the whole interview. And then after. You can understand why I'm a little yeah, confused. Yeah, right I leave right? okay. okay. After the interview was done, it was an off camera conversation where you said to me and Rachel, like, oh, I feel like your guys' families would yeah, yeah. get along, whatever. Um, and then she said something. And then we well, brought we, up we joked Jersey. About, we joked about the hometown because we were like, you just couldn't. Uh, you just couldn't deal with the Jersey Shore, huh? That was just like not then, your speed. Yeah, and she was she like, was like oh, no. I loved it. She was like, that was my favorite one. She so was like, I me. felt most comfortable. <laughs> it's not where I'm and from. We, it's no, but me. the thing is, because when we were watching, we were like, oh, she didn't like the boardwalk. She didn't like yeah. the friends. And and then when she said it was her favorite one, we were like, she we're like, you're lying. Like <laughs> Which is well, that makes me feel, feel even better. Yeah. Did, yeah. did you feel that though during the date? Were you like, I'm getting a vibe that something's off, or were you like, everything's great? I mean, everything was going great, and then right after our two interviews together, before we had the conversation, like I saw her come out, and I saw that she was like almost like teary eyed. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh uh, shit. I'm like, this isn't good. I was just like, Rachel, is everything okay? Yeah. And she was just like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just super cold. So I, you know, I'm warming her up. I give her a hug. I'm warming <laughs> up. And I'm thinking to myself, she's just cold. She's yeah. fine. So, uh, so you yeah. You want some hot chocolate? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ha- so, have you spoken to Rachel post all of her yeah, yeah. relationship ending? And- um, The last conversation that I had with her had to be like a month and a half ago, probably. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but yeah, I haven't like I talked so to her. You guys and are friends, like, cool. ish. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, acquaintances. Yeah, absolutely. Acquaintances. <laughs> I'm really good friends with like like Jill. Like I talk to okay. Jill like all the mm-hmm. time, and she's very close with Rachel. Okay. So so yeah, I yeah, I'm just friends with like yeah. my group Genevieve too. I mean, I love Genevieve. Yeah. So yeah. now, would you go back on the show? Or are you kind of like done for right now? Um, definitely done for right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, Fair. Yeah, reality TV dating, I don't know. It's just, it's tough. Yeah, now yeah. what if another, like, we were just talking about Love Island. Now, what if Love Island US reaches out to you? I'll be honest with you, they did. I had a casting producer really? reach out to me about it. As soon as I got back from The Bachelorette, I had a DM, and I was just like, listen, like, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. just like, I'm in a contract. And yeah. Right, like right, that. right. Um, don't think I would do reality TV dating. Now, if somebody asked me to do a show that was like, that wasn't dating like wise. the challenge right, right. yeah and a yeah. heartbeat idea yeah yeah that'd be yeah, so yeah. cool that's so. fun like <laughs> like competition <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> i want to do competition i don't want to put my heart on the line yeah I know what I mean. again and again yeah exactly there's more only so physical. much you can take guys yes yeah, less mental more physical <laughs> yeah. So, yeah so what is like i feel like people saw the the boardwalk the background for you like what is it that you now do like post show yeah so i mean i got very lucky it's a very silly um, question so i feel like people are curious sometimes <laughs> no, post shows yeah, like yeah. it's very difficult for everybody because you know some people that were gone for so long might have lost their jobs yeah um or are looking for something new and it's like weird this in between time um thankfully i mean my business that i do with my brother is only during the summertime i missed out on an entire basically summer mm. from my business um but the house that i owned i'd sold the house and I made like a good amount of money off of it. So yeah. financially, like I'm in a spot now where I'm like, all right, I can go like anywhere. Like now's my time to, if I want to go to California, like I, I'm planning on moving to San Diego at the end of the month. I'm driving out there oh, end of December. He's making yes. the San Diego so moves. Yes, I'm make, I know, I know. Everybody's you're just joining the I, bad this San Diego pack. See, this here's is the big San thing. Diego you group chat. You can't think you're going to date like a normal person if you're moving yeah, you're to San Diego. Yeah, you're going to San Diego where you're all the other bachelor people all... live. You're gonna well, be out with the whole end crew. Up dating another girl from nah, The Bachelor. No, 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 yes. Everybody's I'd gonna avoid. come I'd up to my money on it. it. You're going to bars. Everybody's coming up to you guys. The San Diego Batch Squad. Oh yeah, and you're like, and then all of a sudden you start feeling it with your fr- somebody Look, I, in your I friend. Look, I can't blame group. you because I I spent like two days in San Diego and was like, this place is yeah, amazing. Like, I would move there. here in a second. Love San Diego. Um, yeah. But I wasn't on The Bachelor, so. Yeah, well. <laughs> Have you met Dylan and Hannah? 
I haven't met. Them. I feel like you and Dylan would get along. That's what it, I've been told by so many people that I forgot who it was. Somebody said you remind me of Dylan. So yeah, much. we're close like, with oh, Dylan and cool. Hannah, and you would yeah. you would definitely get along with Dylan. I think right. and Hannah too. I mean, Hannah's so funny. If they want to hang out, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have like a person with me to go on double dates, but I'll just hang out with you guys yeah. in the third yeah. week. Sure, maybe they have mind. a friend. They have a beautiful yeah, house. Have a we don't they know. Do have yeah. a beautiful house. Um, Try and get invited to that. I just want to hang out. How many people from your the PCs in a paradise live in San Diego? A lot. Well, Aaron, love Aaron. Yeah. Um, Avon's there. That's who I'm moving in with. Is it? Oh, Avon. nice. Okay. Yes. And then, I mean, Eric. Right now, he's in LA, but he was like talking about like possibly moving in moving with us to too. San Diego. Love Eric. Oh my gosh. And we're trying to get Johnny to move out there, but Johnny wants to go to Miami. But mm. I'm like, dude, we all got tattoos together. Like, we gotta live together. Yeah. Like, what's that about? You guys so, all, got all got matching tattoos. tattoos. We got matching tattoos. Chow? It was. It was no, <laughs> not Chow. <laughs> Me, Eric, and Johnny. When we were in LA, we all got tattoos together. It's the three l- lucky number sevens. Nice. Yeah, oh my so god. Seven. That's, yeah. that's, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We 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 have matching tattoos, so we yeah, can't really it was, have matching yeah. tattoos also. It was a junk decision that ended up turning out as like a nice little cute thing. <laughs> that is cute. <laughs> now you guys have to live together and your house number or apartment number has to have a has seven to be in seven, it. Seven it yeah. Three sevens. That yep. would be very ideal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So okay. Yeah, there's there is a I know, I feel like Johnny does have that s- the surfer exactly. vibe. I mean, but I he's a Florida guy too. already. He's a, he's a Florida yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very hard to try to get him to go to. I yeah. mean, San Diego would be awesome, but I don't know. He's yeah. so set on East Coast, which I don't blame. Him. I love the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. But, That's how I am too. I yeah. don't know if I can do the West Coast. Really? So where are you living right now? Right now, I'm back home. Home, yeah. Yeah, I just, I've been back for like a couple weeks, and okay. then yeah, then I head and out. And then you're headed to shipping out to out, San yeah. Diego. Yeah. Shipping out to bachelor station, crew will San be ready Diego. there. Oh yeah. Did they put you in the group chat yet? In the San Diego, <laughs> yeah, the San if there's Diego one, uh, guys, add me as soon as possible. There has to be one. Yeah. Ha- I'm there telling you, they one. like have a name for themselves. Yeah, Aaron will put I, you in it. <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> Once you get down there, you're you're not allowed to be in it until you. <laughs> oh, exactly. There. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's just from our guests, but yeah. I mean, now like looking back, you look at the shows. You're you happy? You want you did it? Like you're. You, oh my gosh! I mean, it was yeah. the best experience I've ever had. I mean, you got a matching tattoo with his. No, I know he did fall in love with never had with his buddies. I made I made so many friends. On top of that, I went so many places I never thought I would ever go to. Um, I mean, it's definitely mentally it affects you a little bit. Yeah, you know, it's like very hard to go from that that to real life. Um, but ultimately, it's definitely worth it. Like, there's no question about it. And like the create like the thing for me, I was just like look at all these other guys and I'm just like, all right, all these guys are six foot plus. They're all very attractive guys. I'm like, what am I doing here? Yeah. I'm like, I'm just going to go with the flow, act like one of them. But I was just like grateful for being there. So, yeah. 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 So we're going to wrap up. Do you want to now tell us uh, what you were going to say on the reunion? On the <laughs> reunion? Yeah, I feel like yes. you did. Yes. So, well, not really. Like what, what was... If the, she had let me talk? What, yeah, if she let you talk, what I, were you going to say? I would have been like, Victoria, you literally just got engaged to this guy. You told this guy you were absolutely in love with him. And now on national television, you're going to attack his character. I'll just be like, this is somebody that you were just like literally with. Yeah. I was just like, you don't give a shit about him. Like, that's what I would have said. Mm. There's no doubt. I feel it, but it's probably better for you not to get involved. Yeah. Oh, no. A hundred percent. Like, like I better felt, that she almost better that she cut you off. Oh, a hundred percent. I was yeah. just def- I was so defensive. Like yeah. in that time. It's being, your guy. It's my guy. Yeah. You know? Even like the little <laughs> scenes they showed of you guys talking outside. Yes. You know, he was... And yeah, I was so glad that I got to talk to him because he had no idea Greg was there. Yeah. No clue. Oh, even shit. afterward, even afterwards, like not until that night when I saw him afterwards, he goes, I heard Greg was there. I was just like, yeah, dude, literally when I was outside with you, he was inside. Damn. And he was just like, dude, that's so disrespectful. Yeah, they were playing both at the same time. And yeah. we were like, oh, this is diabolical. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was tough. That is very sneaky. It's reality TV. Very it's sneaky. reality TV. Very sneaky. Very, yeah. Yeah. very sneaky for sure. Well, thank sure. you so much for coming thank to talk you. to us. No, you were great. Amazing. I feel like we got a lot of information. It a was lot great. of it, though. Yeah. Go I'm birds. Go birds. Absolutely. I like that you have carrying, you know, long form conversation, the, the, Southern the South Jersey accent really I picked comes up out. on it. Do I have a South yeah, Jersey 100%. accent? Yeah, one hundred percent. But it made yeah, me feel 
at home. I know you sound like my uncles. Yeah. <laughs> if I can make you feel at home, that's all I try yeah. to do. Home. We're like a little bit like Devin. Home. Yeah. A yeah. Home. <laughs> a little bit home. Everyone says Delco though too sometimes, and I'm like Delco. No, I don't. Like, I, Devin always says family, and he was doing yeah, that. Yeah, I too. hear. Um, I definitely hear more. It's South Jersey. It's South like Jersey. it's Delco is a little harsher, I think sometimes. It's so harsh. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. can tell right away if somebody's Delco. Yeah, it's there's only you have certain words like yeah. the O's, the the short O's, the short O's. The, that's <laughs> oh, home, home. <laughs> the short O's. W- water. Yeah. There you go. All right, thank you, Tyler, so yep, much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.